This is five life lessons trading has taught me. I can't wait to share this video with you as I think it'll bring a lot of value to you all. Please drop a like and comment if you're new to the channel, subscribe, helps the algorithm, and let's jump into the video. So the first life lesson that trading taught me is all things worthwhile take time. So what I mean by this is if it's worthwhile, it's gonna take an immense amount of time to succeed at it. But when you succeed at it, it's gonna be the best thing you ever did. And this literally relates to everything. And I'm sure if you're watching this video right now and you've accomplished something amazing in your life, there's no way that accomplishment came very, very easily, right? It doesn't have to be related to trading whatsoever, or it could be trading. You could be sitting there a full-time trader. You could have you know, passed the funding challenges. You could have got all these payouts. You could have done all of that. But at one moment in time, you were very, very terrible at trading. And at one moment in time, you probably thought about giving up. You probably thought about, is this for me? It takes time. It takes years. And that's the beautiful thing about this craft is when you put years into it, those years pay you back so, 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 so much. And I've talked about this in previous videos. If you treat trading like you do a university degree, I promise by the end of it, you're going to succeed because you go into university uh, for a four year degree and at year one, you're not saying, okay, I want my degree now. No, you know what's gonna take four years to master whatever you're trying to learn and then have the possibility of potentially getting a job. Whereas with trading, you put four years into this craft, you're coming out of there, money on tap. So I had to have that at number one because it relates to literally every other area of life, whether you're at the gym, whether you're starting a business, whether you're building a relationship, everything you do takes time and if it's worthwhile it takes time so if it's fast and easy it's probably not worth it so that's kind of how i gauge things unfortunately with the trading space i see a lot of people who want quick money they see me post on social media some profits or they see someone post profits and then immediately they think that they can go and do that right away and if they don't achieve that that next day they don't want to do it so it's it's weird how the mind works in my opinion trading is only gonna get harder for people. We live in a microwavable world now where people want results quick. They want results instant when some things just take time and most amazing things take time. So remember that, let's jump into the next one. Life lesson number two is you must take risks in order to win. And of course this rate relates completely to trading. In order to win your trade, you have to calculate your risk and submit it, right? You have to be willing to put up that risk for return a win, right? And the same thing goes in life. We have to take risks before we lose the chance because the chance to take that risk that may change your life is only going to be there for so long. And a lot of the time we take that for granted. We think that that opportunity is always going to be there when in reality it might not be, right? So that's a big thing that trading taught me. It literally, it's great because it relates completely to trading. Every time we're placing a trade, we're taking a risk to potentially win. And it relates in every other aspect. You've probably heard something in school called opportunity cost where you doing this right now is at the cost of you doing something else. So there's an opportunity cost with everything we do. And that opportunity cost also plays into the risk that we take because me putting all my effort here at the same time, something else in my life was lagging behind. And that's just how it goes, right? You going to the gym and working out, you could be doing something else at another time. That's opportunity cost. So we're always taking risks and the only way to succeed in trading and the only way to succeed in life is by taking these risks. And if you don't, you're not only going to miss the opportunity to succeed, but you're going to miss the window you had. So yeah, that's number two. I hope you guys enjoyed these two so far. If you do, drop a like. And if my forehead right now is shining and glistening, drop a like as well, because this thing is probably blinding you guys. And I apologize. It's friggin' hot in here. I'm sweating, but I'm going to get this video done for you guys. The third life lesson that trading taught me is watch who you surround yourself with. And this goes for this trading space as well. There's a lot of shady people in this industry. There's a lot of people who don't want to see other people succeed. Unfortunately, I myself have met a ton of those people and it's not the greatest feeling uh, when you're being used and all this stuff, but this relates perfectly for life as well, because the people who you have around you are going to dictate how successful you become. I truly believe that. And that goes for, that goes for anything you're trying to pursue, right? I, if you're trying to start a business and you're around people who don't start businesses and they're putting your business down, the odds of you succeeding in that business become extremely more difficult, right? And the same thing goes for trading. If you're trying to trade and you're trying to succeed at this, but you have people putting you down, you have people not believing in you and telling you that you're gonna fail, yes, you can still use it as fuel and yes, it's great fuel, that's what happened to me. But at the same time, it's in the back of your mind that the second you start to doubt yourself, it's very easily to fall back on what other people have said as well. Okay, if I'm doubting myself that I can do this and everyone around me, maybe it's not meant for me, right? 
And that just goes for everything. Your network is your net worth. And I am blessed and lucky to have some amazing people in my life guiding me in the space who are where I wanna be, in business who are where I wanna be. And it has ultimately helped me. It has changed my life. You know who you are, you know who you are and forever grateful, honestly, forever grateful for the people around me. But it's crazy that once I surrounded myself with people doing better than me, once I surrounded myself with people who are motivating me to, to do better, my life did just that. So it's crazy how it was almost like an instant result. Surround yourself with people who you wanna be, not people of your past. And if you have people who are bringing you down in trading, in the trading space or business or, or anything, I would suggest cutting them off or at least putting them on pause while you're succeeding at this. And then kind of that happens on its own. But that's number three. Number four is emotional control in every area of your life. If you're watching this video and you are a trader, if you're watching this video and you're not a new trader, hold me. If you're an experienced trader, you're gonna know exactly what I'm talking about. Experienced traders, in order to get to where we wanna be in trading or in order to get to where you are now, you had to learn how to become neutral in the market. And by learning how to become neutral in the market, what I mean is on winning trades, you're like whatever. Losing trades, you're like whatever. It's the same. You can't be super high and then super low. You can't just be going like this. And when you first start out your trading journey, that's obviously impossible to, to know right away, right? And if you're new on this journey, it's gonna be impossible for me to tell you what to do right now. Oh, you shouldn't be super happy when you win. You shouldn't be super sad when you lose. This is where experience comes in. And the only way to get better at that is by going through it yourself. So if you're a new trader, trust me, you will go through this path, but you experienced traders know exactly what I'm talking about. It's also completely changed my whole life in terms of how I react to certain things. Trading itself has made me a better golfer. Trading itself has made me better in stressful situations where emotional control uh, is either a make or break, right? And there's a saying that emotional, there's a saying that when emotions rise, intelligence goes down. And that is so, 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 so true. Let me ask you this right now. How many times have you been super, super upset with something and you reacted based on emotion versus intelligence? And then once you calm down, you're like, what did I just do? This could be trading. So say you, you took a trade against your trading plan because you lost one. And then a minute later, you're like, oh my God, what did I do? Or maybe you said something to someone that you shouldn't have because you didn't get a response that you liked or anything. You know what I mean? When we react off of emotion, the intelligence drops and it's not the best situation. And I've been there a million times. I'm sure you watching this have too, not just in trading, but in life. But trading has allowed me to build up that emotional control to where I'm pretty much, I don't want to say numb to things, but I'm very good at not worrying about things that I have no control over, right? And if I did everything I could in a situation and the result isn't what I wanted, that's all I care about is that I did everything that I could, right? And, and with the market, if you're, you're on a losing streak, but you're trading your plan perfectly, you know this too shall pass. So yeah, emotional control has improved so, 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 so much. I had to throw this one in there. And it's just, I'm very, very grateful because I used to be a person who honestly acted on emotion a lot and trading has literally helped me so much. So I'm forever grateful for the, for this journey. I'm forever grateful for this craft. It truly has changed my life. And I know if you're watching this video, it probably has for you as well. And without further ado, let's jump into the fifth and final lesson. The fifth and final lesson that trading has taught me is you must believe in yourself because if you don't believe in yourself, no one else will. This kind of relates to what I was saying earlier on about who you have around you. But honestly, the only people I know that have succeeded in this game to a high degree are people who had undeniable proof they were going to get there. People who are willing to literally put everything on the line to succeed at this craft. That's exactly what I did. And if I didn't have that self-belief when times got super, 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 super tough, I don't think I would be here. I truly don't because I have had friends that started trading and put a long time into it, but they lost that self-belief and they gave up before they were able to get to that level. And it's that three feet from gold story or whatever the story is that you don't know how close you are to that aha moment. You don't know how close you are to the moment where it just clicks for you and you're a successful trader. So to give up before that moment happens after putting in all this time is silly in my opinion. And I'm just super grateful that previous Mac, Mac from the past believed in himself when sometimes no one else did. And 
you know, I shout out to my girlfriend, Julia. She believed in me the whole time, even the times at the beginning of my journey where I was getting just absolutely spanked and putting it in so much effort, so much effort, so much effort and seeing negative results. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, it's a tough spot to be in, but if you don't have that self-belief, it's impossible. And that goes for everything else in life. You have to believe that you can do it truly. You have to truly be able to look yourself in the mirror and say to yourself, I can do this. And here's a cheat code for anyone who may have limiting beliefs on themselves. If someone else is doing it, why can't you? Seriously, we're not trying to reinvent anything. Trading is there. You see people succeed at trading. Options, stocks, indices, Forex. It doesn't matter. Crypto. There's other people succeeding at it. So I use that fuel. If that person can do it, I can do it too. And that's just how you should go about things, right? If you see people succeeding in a certain thing and they're already there, you can do it too. I truly believe that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I was gonna do a trade breakdown video, but this came to mind and I thought it would be very, very helpful. If you did enjoy this video, please, please, please drop a like, drop a comment and subscribe if you're new, it helps the channel. We're almost at 40,000 subscribers, which is just absolutely crazy. And what do I say at the end of every single video? Let's be 1% better every single day. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.